Hello everyone, this is Ahit from Inspiring Net and in this video after a long 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 time I'm going to announce few things about Inspiring Net and its future direction. You know I started Inspiring Net in 2009. 9, 2009. Not working here, working for 9 years. It's just like a couple of 4-5 years. So it has been an exciting time. But the thing I realized recently is like people who started following Inspiring Net 2-3 years before they are at the verge of finishing their master degree. Here comes the problem. Once you reach the master degree, again you are blank, as usual. You don't know anything like what to do after master degree. Is it a good good choice to go for a job or to go for a PhD program or do some research? What is more important in life? And the, the whole questions that you had after BTEC, you have after MTech. But fortunately or unfortunately, you know, I did my PhD and uh, I think it's the right time for me to share that experience with all of you. So the, the only thing is today I'm going to announce a website. I mean, it's not a completely new website. It's a part of Inspiring Ignite, but it will be a, a, on a different side of Inspiring Ignite because I don't want to merge like PhD and master degree and like bombard you with your emails. Even though you're not interested in master emails, you get a lot of master emails. And even though if you're not interested in PhD, interested in PhD, you get a lot of PhD. PhD information. So what did I do is like today I'm going to announce a complete separate blog for PhD, Masters and MS and PhD. The whole research will have a different blog. But what is exciting about it is like, you know, I, I have a wonderful experience for, during my PhD. Finished my PhD in like two years, 11 months with like a lot of happiness and a lot of happy mood. So what do I want to do is like, I want to bring a complete different perspective of doing PhD and being happy there. Mostly you listen to the stories of people like who are, who are depressed during the PhD and had a lot of troubles and a lot of losing a lot of self-motivation and all those things. And after that, they become professor and they started killing their students as usual. So, but I have a different story to share with you. So in this, what I would like to do is like, I would like to bring all my experience from day one, from the registration, not exactly from the registration, from, from the point of view where I started looking for PhD admission. Till I finished PhD admission, I mean, till I finished my PhD. Not only that, I would cover what kind of options you have after the PhD. I opted for entirely a different Thing in my life and I'm very happy with that. Given a chance I will do what I want to do and that is that's what I learned in, during my PhD. So most of this most of the people who do their PhD to go for academics but fortunately or unfortunately I I wanted to come to industry to see like what what exactly they're doing I just don't want want to regret in my life that like I never been to industry even if I teach in future in some place I really don't want to have that regret. I don't know what people do in industry. So that kind of that regret I don't want it to have. So I opted for the industry, but I liked it. I'm still liking it, I'm still working with them. So I would share all those things and all those experiences with you in this blog. And apart from that, Inspire and Ignite will have this time, especially from MS and PhD blog, we are going to have people who have a different experience too. I would like to invite every single of you and the people who have been following Inspiring Ignite and been to IITs for MS program. They have been an average student. So I'm trying to invite all of them to write and to share their experiences with us. So we will have a lot of video content coming up on this. And we have a lot of text content coming, experience based text content coming on it. So I would definitely would like to subscribe you. Ah, one more important thing. Facebook will have same page for both the blogs, Inspire Ignite as well as Inspire Ignite MS and PhD program. So we will have same Facebook page. We will have same Google Plus account for them. We'll not separate the circles or something like that. And we'll have the same YouTube channel. The only thing that different is feed. And feed I'm going to create as different feed for like, if you want to do masters, you got to subscribe to inspiringnet.com. 
if you want to know about phd you got to subscribe to inspireignite.com/msnphd that link is below you got to see this and uh, yes so this this is the one of the most exciting thing i wanted to share with you all the blog is almost ready and this is going to be its uh, first blog post though i wrote uh, i made a video before telling about like what are the benefits of phd i would like to bring it again on this place and i will be writing a couple of posts and if you really want to write it friends by ignite and if you want to be a part of it this is a golden opportunity for you so we can have we will we will be having a lot of talk shows like for example there are there are few people i know in iit madras there are few people i know in iit bombay and there are few people who are doing ms in iit roorkee or something like that so we will i will have an interactive session with them so we also will divide uh, the whole program into maybe if i get a chance like maybe i'd like to make a weekly show or something or if i don't get a time or like if life gets busy for me i would like to actually at least make monthly two or three videos so that like you can keep motivating yourself and get get onto your tracks and you know this the main motivation for starting this blog is is to not share only my experience i want you to come up with your experiences share with people so that everybody can get inspiration and go ahead in their lives you know if if we inspire one one indian national if we inspire one guy to sit down and make a struggle make it i mean make it possible to reach their dreams it's a much bigger contribution than being sitting in india not doing anything for the nation and and making it more corrupt do you agree with me if you agree with me you got to you got to shake hands with me and you got to accept my invitation if you are preparing for gate you got to sit down make it happen reach out to iits and reach out to me and say like zahid come on i did it let's let's do it you have to come out here share your stories i will share my stories my stories are mostly positive i had a i you, you know my attitude my attitude is uh, mostly negative so i close my eyes and i just don't care about them i just look for the positive things so my, my entire life if you ask me what is my life you'll get all the stories like that i have been doing this and i did this and i got this but i want to bring some of my friends who had a lot of tough time who had very tough time doing their phd's like some of them finished in 5 years 6 years 7 years 8 years had tough time with their professors i mean you you don't know what kind of mental situation they have been through so i would like to bring few of those stories too because i need to bring two faces of the coin actually so with this i think uh, i would like to invite you to be a part of this exciting whole exciting platform where we share our experiences with the students one more important thing is like i really don't want to share few things because you know it is it is not worth sharing something which you have not been through I see a lot of people write about PhD, write about MTech, write about master degree, and write about MTech admissions and all that. But none of them, most of them, like maybe ninety nine point nine percent of the people who write about the exam preparation or something like that, they never been into those, those situations. I'd like to share one small story. What what inspires me is like uh, once a woman came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and asked him like and told him and complained him about his son, saying that. his son her son eats a lot of sugar and she wanted prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to tell that boy to not to eat it i mean not to eat a lot then prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said like no 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 you come after two days then i'll tell him that woman went back and then came back after two days and then he told that guy like boy my son you know you got to you got to listen to your mother and stop eating too much sugar he said okay i will follow you and later that you know, people asked like people who have been watching prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam doing this they asked him she came like two days before and you didn't tell them you didn't tell her like her son like you didn't give nasiha i mean you didn't give advice to her 
her son when when she came two days before why is the reason and it's just a simple word like saying like son you don't don't eat too much sugar and why you tell told after two days he said like you know when she came to me approached me and wanted me to tell it to her her son at the time i was eating a lot of sugar i mean i love sugar so i was eating a lot of sugar how can i tell someone like to do something which i don't do myself it's it's totally wrong approach to to be followed and it don't inspire people rather than it make a mess because you don't know anything there and you guide them somewhere and you land in a mess so when after two days she came basically i i controlled my eating sugar i mean eating sweet and then when she came second time i was ready to tell her son like you got to control because i control for two days i know how it is if i can do it then someone else can also do it so that approach i follow for all my blog so if i can finish phd in two and a half years like not exactly two and a half years two years 11 months exactly and i'm not saying i am i have been a very genius guy or i have done a remarkable work or i changed the world upside down no it's a simple thing i finished phd in two years 11 months all because i was i have been super lucky in getting my professors and choosing my professors their support was enormous during the time because you know phd is like a marriage I'll, i'm going to share share with you a lot in coming coming videos and posts so you have a lot of ups and downs and your professor is angry sometimes and you're not happy with him sometimes and some things usually go wrong but how do you balance that how do you manage it is a trick and and you know people can do a lot of things for you which you will really really enjoy during phd I have done really really lot of stuff there like participating in the elections and I mean participating in sports being in swimming team and a lot of other stuff too so I'm going to share everything what what did I do in PhD and how how did I like enjoyed my time during PhD and also like it's not only I had good time there I did a couple of I wrote like maybe around 13 or 14 research papers during during that time and and i ended a phd if you see my profile you know it i ended a phd i'm not boosting myself sorry if you if you consider that and i'm extremely sorry for it i just wanted to share it like i'm just i just want to share it like being serious is not not everything you got to be honest to yourself that's what i i i think i did it and i think you all can do it i ended with Uh, an IBM award for outstanding research during my phd and i got it in 2006 so with this i think uh, it's very clear what inspiring nerd is going to be in couple of years and what uh, we are going to do so i hope you will join me for this excitement and uh, mostly and honestly i would like to ask you to be honest to yourself honest be honest and if you have been honest and you have been blessed and lucky then don't hesitate to share with people so that they can try it out my whole aim of making inspire and ignite my whole aim of bringing all these stories to you is only single thing if i can sit down and try being an average 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 sometimes below average student you can bring it down and if you can bring it down it's a proud for your family it's not only for you your life it's you bring everyone you make everyone happy you make a happy society once you make a happy society we will grow and our nation will grow that's the only thing i would like to bring you bring it to you and i would expect you to be a part of the bigger community what we are going to have in couple of days so let's join hands and let's start writing and sharing thank you so much for the watching the video i would like to ask you to like us on uh, facebook follow us on google plus and do not forget to subscribe to youtube channel inspiring and youtube channel so with this i conclude this video i would like to thank you so much for being a part of inspire and ignite community let's do it thank you so much